Question four, how do you recognize and treat true anaphylaxis? Look for the classic triggers mentioned above just before the patient becomes tachycardic and flushed and develops itching or hives, facial swelling, that is angioedema, and difficulty breathing or nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. <laughs> Hi guys. Today is July 20. It's been more than a month, I think, since I last used this vlogging camera. I've been studying for my step to CK. Um, it's still my lunch break. I still have around 10 minutes, so might as well just record this little life update just so I can document this part of my journey again. Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Aura. I'm a foreign medical graduate from the Philippines, and I'm currently studying to take the USMLE exams so that I can pursue residency training in the US. In this channel, I make videos to help aspiring medical students and also I just want to document my life. So like I said, I've been studying for my last exam for now, for now, Step 2 CK, which is the Clinical Knowledge Exam. I'm already done with Step 1 and Step 2 CS. CS is the Clinical Skills. This time, it's all about um, diagnosing and managing the diseases. So I feel like it's harder in a way, but it's also better. <laughs> I mean, it's more interesting to study this because this time you can really imagine it and apply the knowledge. I mean, at least on paper for now, but anyway, I've been studying here in Rugby, North Dakota, where my sister lives, my sister and her fiancé. We were also here last winter, um, if you remember my studying in the snow vlog, yeah, we were studying for step one that time, and now I'm studying for step two CK. So this time it's summer, so thank you Atta and thank you Bong for always accommodating me to live here so I can concentrate and study here, and that's really what I've been trying to do for the past month, yeah. My exam is in 10 days, 10 days, August 1. And this time, I really don't want to move it because for step one, I moved and moved my exam. But this time, I'm not sure if I'm ready. I don't think I'll be finishing this whole coverage of the U world, but I'm going to go for it. I need to do it soon because I'm running out of time. Anyway. Yeah, I have to be back to my work by 1.50 and it's, well, at least it's only 1.40. So at least I still have time, so might as well talk to you guys or record something and maybe find time to edit this. <laughs> anyway, mm. so like what I said, I've been here for more than a month. And so far, my routine has been to wake up at wake up late, admittedly, maybe around 11, and study for the whole day and sleep at night. Okay, that's the unideal ideal. But recently when I started observing in the hospital with uh, physicians, I had to wake up earlier. So at least that got me started on fixing my body clock again. So I wake up early. I'm at the hospital in the morning at 8 a.m. Here in rugby, I got to observe with a doctor there in the nearby hospital where my sister works. While in Devil's Lake, it's another town, I live with Nanay and Tatay. Hello, Doctor and Dr. Clara Gade. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I live with them and Nanay brings me to the hospital in the morning and I shadow physicians there as well. And by lunchtime, I would just walk to the library. It's very hot, <laughs> but yeah. I think some people here find me weird because I walk with an um, umbrella, which they don't do. They love the sun. <laughs> anyway, I walk to the library and I have my packed lunch there in the garden, one of the garden benches, and I spend the rest of the afternoon studying there. Because by 6 o'clock when the library closes, um, I have to go home and there's no more internet nor signal in, in the lake house. So that means I can't use my question bank anymore because this needs internet. So I just study my notes and my flashcards and some questions that I have preloaded. So now I'm going to show you my most favorite part of this little house. Super dream house, honestly. It's a lake house and this is the backyard. The view. 
and it's super relaxing and this is actually the only part of the house wherein I get a little bit of signal so I stay here for like a couple of minutes when I get home and talk to my friends and go online for a bit so yeah it's my favorite part ang ganda ganda diba it's been helpful because <laughs> I don't have distractions there I don't Netflix all night or just scroll through my social media which happens to everyone I suppose or maybe just me oh I also want to show you really quickly how I studied for this exam step to CK so I used online method uworld and Anki right so this is the website of online method it's free you can sign up and watch all the videos for free and a lot of American medical students use this during their clerkships and their rotations but for me I had to study everything by myself from the top and I really like it I like the way things are explained by Dr. Williams I really wish I had started doing this earlier anyway I have the premium version because I wanted to make use of the notes and also the flashcards, the challenge questions. Here, I'll show you. Just a quick preview of the premium version. In this video, we're right. Talking about coronary artery so coronary when you have the free, you just have the videos without the subtitle. Okay. And for the premium version, which is what I have, I get to turn on this subtitle and play it like double the speed and just read it. And I can also download the notes here i used to read that before each lecture but it took too long <laughs> so i went straight to the lecture and then i made sure to answer all the questions right related questions because you have to quiz yourself wow i got it all correct but i don't know that's not true for all the rest um so for example here's a question and for example this is my answer i'm not even sure it's like Dr. Williams is just talking to you when he's explaining why this is the right answer, why this is the wrong answer, why this is just a distractor, or like, don't pick this, never pick this answer, like, what, what have I taught you, stuff like that. And it's funny, and it's interesting, and it's very effective. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's 1.50. I have to go back to studying. Wait, I'll go back to studying. True or false? Herpes zoster infection in young adults equals possible HIV infection. True, because it suggests immunodeficiency. True or false? Thrush in young adults may mean HIV infection. True. Do not give immunoglobulins, which may cause anaphylaxis due to development of anti-IgA antibodies. Maternal antibodies in the neonate can give a false positive result for the first four to six months and is considered unreliable in neonates. It's now 5.35 p.m. I did two exams and I used my phone for an hour. I'm so tired. My eyes are so bad already because my screen time is like 10 hours a day. And I need new glasses. Anyway, I'm just resting. Then I'll go back to studying. I know Janka Maga apartment to walk in this so I think I'm gonna know. I know Janka. I think I'm gonna walk in this so I think I'm gonna walk in this so I think I'm gonna snow. I think I'm gonna walk in this so 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 <laughs> it's time for me to leave again. So I'm gonna end this vlog too. Ate and Kuya Bong. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> thank you, Ate Kuya Bong. Kuya Bong. Kuya Bong. Good luck. Bye. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.